This time I'm going to set up a uh, limited account or they call it a standard account also. Um, the reason why we want to do this is because uh, to avoid viruses. Now it's not going to avoid like all the viruses but you know most of them and that's the reason why we want to do it. Um, so if you ever used Linux before it's kind of like the same setup. Okay, uh, In Linux they have a root account and they have a user account and uh, whenever you want to install something or whatever you're gonna have to type in your password um, and that's the reason why it blocks this uh, you know viruses or whatever because you need a uh, admin level you know password to, to install some stuff and uh, that's what we're gonna do and this is how we're gonna do on Windows so bust out your um, what is it um, control panels and in here, uh, go to your user account here. Okay, so click on that thing. Uh, what you want to do is click on where it says, uh, you know, manage uh, another account here. And uh, what we're gonna do is make two accounts. Okay, so one right now I have uh, this one. This is my current user. I have admin levels here. Okay, but in the end, you would want to have at least two. Okay. One is admin and the other one is standard account. Um, <clears throat> and um, that's what we're going to do. So create a new account right here. Click on this thing where it says create new account. Uh, so this is a different scenario to this, but uh, let me show you an example of both. Okay. So let's say we want a to make a standard uh, user. So just type in our um, new account name or whatever. And I'm just going to type in limited okay and make sure it's on standard uh, if you want it standard and we're gonna create an uh, account here uh, so that's pretty much it for that you know you have a limited account uh, or they call it standard user here and whenever you log into that um, and you want to install some exe or whatever uh, you can't because you don't have admin levels um, you know permission um, another way to do this, let's say you, your current user is uh, is an admin level account and you want to change that to a standard, okay, uh, you can do that, you can demote yourself, but like I said before, you're going to have to have an admin, uh, uh, you know, at least two accounts, okay, when you're done with this. So let's say we make a new account and we're going to call this admin this time, so this is a scenario too, okay. And we're gonna give it a name, and we we'll call this admin. Okay, something like this: username dash admin or whatever. And make sure this is on admin, and then create an account. <coughs> now for the admin one, okay, the one that um, you know f for administration purposes, uh, let's put a password in that. So I'm gonna put a password in this. Um, create password uh, just type in you know whatever you want to so I'm gonna type in my password and you want to give it a hint you could do it I don't know like A B C D or some shit uh, create a password there you go um, so that is our admin and we only gonna use that if we ever you know need to update our system or do some security f things with it we're really gonna use that one, okay? Now this one is my current uh, user, okay, right here. But it has admin right now. So what we're gonna do is demote ourselves back to the standard user. Uh, and to do that, let's click on that account. And we're gonna go to change uh, account type. And uh, it's right now is administrator, but we're gonna change it back to standard user. And click on change type. And that's it. You're back to here. Do you need a password for the standard user? You could if you want to, but it doesn't matter, okay? You don't need one, okay? Because you're a standard user. It doesn't really matter. Um, so let's go back. And you see now it says standard uh, user. And like I said before, at least have uh, two accounts, okay? A standard one and an admin one. Uh, if you want to ever delete one account, let's say I want to delete this limited one because I'm not really going to use it. Uh, we go to delete account. 
and you can actually have options to keep the files or delete the files uh, because you know every account is different uh, and they have the files uh, you know stored at different places there um, so if you want to keep it you can keep it otherwise I'm gonna delete it because I don't have nothing on that one delete now we have only two accounts all right two accounts now by default in Windows they actually have another account that's hidden away uh, somewhere and it's a default admin account and we're gonna have to disable that one also and to do that uh, let's close off of this okay bust out your computer the computer here and you see where it says uh, or shows the computer icon over here this one right here uh, right click on that and we go to manage and in here uh, what you want to do is expand to where it says local user here All right and go to user and this is the the administrator account um, they, they usually call this the hidden administrator account um, this is like a default thing they do on uh, Windows. Um, you know, when all Windows users, they're mainly uh, using an admin level account, and that's not what you're supposed to do um, as, as far as security goes. But you can actually, um, you know, disable this one because it's not really recommended. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to disable this stupid thing. And right click on it, and oh no, just, I mean, double click on it oopsie double click on it and make sure uh, right down here it says account is disabled okay check that box and I'm gonna click OK or whatever and that's it pretty much that's all you have to do in here um, so that's all you gotta do for, to cover all your bases uh, now you have an admin account and a uh, standard limited account and uh, for the next video I'm gonna show you why or you know what's gonna happen on that standard uh, account here so you're gonna have to log out and um, we're gonna have to log back in to make the changes so I'll end this video right now uh, that's it for this one